What's up guys, this is YK404 back with you and forget about the 69% that you saw above but look at every other percentage, everything is consistent. So you're wondering what attack it is? I know you already know from the title and thumbnail. So let's dive into the attacks and see how it went, alright? So this is our first attack. This is a replay of course, I forgot to hit the record button but deal with it. <laughs> We're starting with the Flame Flinger. I just switched my Siege Machine and um, because I see there's no Mortar or no Expo there, except for that one that I'm sniping with the Balloons, I figured that we could take out the Town Hall just with the Siege Machine, the Flame Flinger. So that's exactly what we're doing. E-Drag attacks are very straightforward and I'm still myself learning. I haven't done ever E-Drag attacks on my main account where the heroes are actually good levels but hey there's always a first for everything so E-Drags all spammed in together with the Warden split rages Warden ability early as heck and then the Queen and the King to funnel for the E-Drags on the side just in a moment you can notice that right on that side there's the Queen and the King dropped we're still freezing the Town Hall because I kind of don't want the Town Hall to uh, damage my E-Drex or the Warden. I mean, yeah, uh, the Warden is very important. So the King's ability is going off, e drags are pretty perfect and healthy. Queen targets my Warden, so we have to freeze the Queen and the Eagle together. Royal Champion still not deployed, we're still waiting for the e drags to grab enough value. And finally, the Royal Champion comes down at the Mortar. And yeah, uh, just one freeze remaining, we're going to let this happen. The Siege is still doing its job, Flame Flinger taking out the Town Hall, plenty of E-Drags still remaining, Royal Champion clearing out, defenses after defenses, King still alive! Holy cow, that's a Golem King, for real, literally. <laughs> Queen with her ability, and last freeze dropped on top of the Ground Expo and on the Scattershot together. So e drags and the Royal Champion will be able to take down the Scatter Shot and the Ground Expo. Flame Flinger takes its final shot on the Inferno Tower, Multi Inferno with the Builder Huts. Flame Flinger is going to crack open, King going down, Queen still with her ability, e drag takes its shot, Multi goes down, and it's time for cleanup. In the Siege, as you can see, we had a Dragon Rider with Balloons. But yes, that's going to be our first 3-star, and I'm so happy with how this attack played up. So the army link will be down in the description. Second attack guys, again another replay, I swear, I promise I'm going to do a live attack at the end of the video, but bear with me for this one. So this is a, a beautiful base, and at this point I'm still thinking what to do. So I start with my queen to funnel ahead. King to tank for the Queen, Baby Dragon so my Queen doesn't come this way, E-Drags and Balloons all spammed together at one place with the Battle Blimp to target the Town Hall. Early as heck, Warden ability again, Town Hall goes down to the Battle Blimp troops with another Rage dropped in that area. Super Minions come out of the Clan Castle, freezing the Super Minions um, um, with the Poison spell with the Multi Inferno at the core. Inferno goes down to the King, Super Minions go down to the Poison and some E-Drags. Final Rage dropped on top of the E-Drags to take down the Scattershot, the Ground Expos, the enemy heroes that are there in that area. And one E-Drag on the rightmost area is doing a great job taking down defenses after defenses if you take a look. Uh, the other E-Drag is going to take down that Sweeper, there you go. Sweeper went down, so we still have the Royal Champion, and the Royal Champion is just now coming down, freezing the single Inferno because that e drag can help clean up or help tank for our Royal Champion, which exactly it's doing. I'm still hoping for the e drag to take a shot, the e drag takes it, single Inferno loses some health, also takes down some Skeleton Trap for us. Royal Champion will be able to take down the single Inferno, Royal Champ's ability will be able to take down the air defense and damage the scattershot a little bit. Queen just lost her ability, no more defenses remaining except for that one wizard tower. And if you're enjoying till this point, <laughs> make sure you hit the like and subscribe button guys, really means a lot to me. So yeah, uh, at this point it's just clean up, the attacks are pretty fast usually. I just have a level 1 unicorn and that level 1 unicorn is doing such a great job. Think about it if I had max pets. 
I think this is an amazing attack strategy to be used right now. So this is a failed attempt. I know some of you guys requested in the previous video to show some failed attempts so you guys can think about what not to do. So here it is, a failed attempt, although I consider this mistake uh, very noob-ish for my part. But hey, we're starting again with the baby dragon and the queen to funnel for the e-drags. And then, when a lot of these buildings go down, uh, we're going to start the e-drags right towards the single inferno opposite of the town hall. So the e-drags are being started, balloons as well. Grand Warden, we're not sending the battle blimp this time as you can see. Split rages again, early as heck warden ability. Balloons under rage will be able to take down the single inferno. King went down to tank in front of the queen as, all, uh, as well do some funneling. Uh, for our E-Drags. At the core, E-Drags hit another rage, take down so many things. Clan castle troops, super minions come out, poison them, and towards the top, we're starting a... Um, we're going to start Royal Champion in a little bit with the Stone Slammer, as you can see. I forgot to freeze the single Inferno that targeted my king. If I did, this wouldn't have failed. I think at least in my opinion. So the rest of my freeze spells are going down for the enemy queen and the town hall because I want my E-Drax to take down the enemy queen so that my heroes can later on finish the base regardless of what's remaining and what's not remaining. Also the E-Drax are doing tremendous damage to the town hall. That's also good news. Uh, Stone Slammer pops out, Dragon Rider and Balloons come out, Royal Champion's ability being used, town hall goes down. Just what's remaining in the base is just one Tesla and the enemy king. So I think even the enemy king is not full health, but the queen has unicorn, right? So I felt that we could swag the queen's ability and still triple. That was my mistake here because the queen goes down in the ability. If I hit the queen's ability earlier, this wouldn't have failed. All right, fourth attack, guys. Final attack. This is live. So um, I'm going to start with the baby dragon and queen funnel queen and king funnel on one side um e-drags going through the center towards the eagle artillery at least that's the plan here with the balloons with the grand warden i know the town hall is too far away so the battle blimp may not make it that far um early as heck warden ability again with split rages in a bit now and what I'm doing here, um, let's drop the poison on top of the clan castle first. So yeah, what I'm doing here is I'm letting the E-Drags take as much value as they can at the core of the base. And as soon as I figure out what to do with the siege, I'll do something. So um, let's use the flame flinger on the outside. Because I feel like that's how it should work. At least um, the E-Drags went down, that's weird. But hey, um, let's send the Royal Champion to the Town Hall. Let's use the Rage on top of the Royal Champion. Let's use some free spells to protect the Royal Champion's health. Royal Champion's ability goes off. That's rough. But hey, let's keep freezing because we need to get the Town Hall. And I don't want to do a one star at the end of this video. So freeze, last freeze spell. That's uh, our last ticket. Okay, the Town Hall goes down. Bravo. The enemy world champion is going down, but the flame flinger is being targeted by the ground expo. That's not good. Oh god. <laughs> okay, the dragon rider with the balloons come out of the flame flinger. Do they take out the multi inferno? They do. Actually, the balloons don't do anything. Just <laughs> the dragon rider alone took out the multi inferno. But hey, look at the base. The queen has her ability. We again don't have any defenses except for one bomb tower. So, are we going to make the same mistake that I did in my last hit? I don't think so. As soon as the bomb tower goes down, let's hit the queen's ability. That will take down the enemy king, and my queen won't go down to any giant bombs. Look, there's a giant bomb, and my queen is perfectly fine. It didn't even barely even scratch the queen, because the unicorn... <laughs> another giant bomb. The unicorn is there to heal my queen. I wish I did it the same way in my last attack. But let me tell you guys why I think... E-Drags are really amazing right now to use in Legends League. Most of the people are using bases to defend against Super Dragons that require one tile gap to defend against their chain. 
but E-Drags actually can take advantage of it. If you take a look at the buildings at this base, those are like one tile gap from each other. Those are stacked up just to defend against Super Dragons. This is where E-Drags can shine. And I think I'm going to get this in just 10 seconds. So, bravo, there's another 3 star. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And if you want to see other Channel 14 attack strategy guides, make sure you click on the video on screen right now. I'll see you again in the next one. Till then, take care.